printing a full size pattern of a curved part is one of the best features of SketchUp. It's a little complicated, however. There are certain things we need to make sure of. The first thing to look at, and we have to guess at this point, is in the print setup window. Because this is going to be larger than a single piece of paper, we have to guess as to whether it'll fit better on portrait size pages or if they're flipped 90 degrees to landscape. We'll try portrait first. And now we want to go to the print preview window. From the print preview, I want to make sure I check the use the model extents box. If you watch the page size here, it's showing me the size of the screen that I'm viewing. Model extents reduces the size because it's just going to the size of the part that we're drawing. If I look at set the scale at 1 to 1 and look at the tiled sheet range, it's going to take six pages. I'm guessing that it would take less pages if I have it in landscape instead of portrait, but I don't have a choice from this box to make that change. So I'll hit cancel. I'll go back to the print setup window. From here I'll change it to landscape. Click OK. Now when I go to print preview, again I want to make sure I'm checking on the model extents box. My scale is set at 1 to 1. And I look at the tiled sheets. Now I'm down to four pages. That's what I want to do in order to print on the fewest number of pages. So when I click OK, this will save it as a PDF file. And the preview window shows me which parts of the drawing are going to be on the separate pages. And we'll compare that to the printed output. So now we're looking at the printed document in Acrobat. And it's on four 8.5 by 11 pages. Now each page has just a portion of the curve I want. This one page happens to be blank. But I can go out to the shop, line the curves up, assemble that. Then I have a full size pattern that I can glue directly to a piece of wood and cut the exact pattern to what I drew. 